Hey y'all, I'm um, just getting home from work and uh, I wanted to show y'all some uh, training videos. Ooh, okay, okay. Miss uh, Feisty there. Look at how she's playing with Dolce. Dolce is just entertaining her, um, but they will correct her when she gets too dominant. But yeah, so anyways, I wanted to show you some training uh, videos. I have already been training them. I've been working on training every day, at least uh, with uh, Lucia. And with the puppy, with the puppy, I've also been training. I mean, the puppy, they're both puppies, but the little puppy, Tequila, the pit bull puppy. I've also been uh, working on her potty training. So, but with Lucia, I started obedience training um, Primarily the sit command and the uh, and the down command. So I want to show you all that and kind of explain how how I have been doing it. Oh, look how assertive she is. No, that's good. That's good. She's not hurt. She's not hurt. But that was a necessary correction. That was absolutely necessary. Dolce put her in her place. Um, she's not hurt at all. I, I mean, I saw that. You can even put it in slow motion and see. She did not get hurt. But that's why, um, that's one reason why it's not recommended for puppies to go home sooner than eight weeks is because the 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 mother and the pack members teach the puppy respect they teach they they teach puppy boundaries like what just happened right there that's what she's learning through dolce so even though she did go go home from her mother early it was you know it was a nothing we could do about that it was out of necessity but I feel like she just, she's not missing out on much because my pack is, is taking the place of what her mother and her pack would have done to teach her. She's learning things like bite inhibition. She's learning respect. And you see, uh -uh. okay, that's enough now. That's enough. Come on, leave her, leave her. Lucia, get, 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 get. No, I will step in, you know, when it's excessive. But she needed to learn that. Um, I'm actually, I was actually hoping, hoping for that. Do, because Dolce sh, 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 has been pretty lenient um, with her, and as you could have, as you saw early on in the video, um, how aggressive—I don't want to say aggressive, but you know how dominant this little puppy was acting, and. Um, It's kind of, you know, it can be cute when she's a puppy, but if she doesn't learn respect, then she's going to grow up thinking she's alpha and she's going to get herself hurt. So, you know, it's rather she learned this early. And so, good girl, she's going to go to sleep here. She's not hurt at all. Um, pack members in the wild, the wolf packs, you know, they'll even draw blood. Um out of corrections like that. The, the puppy learns once and that's it. Yeah, she's totally fine, unscathed. And um, like I said, I'm glad that happened. But anyway, yeah, so I wanna show y'all a little bit um, of how I'm doing this training. Papa. I did wanna show y'all something real quick. Um, this is the bathroom attached to my bedroom. And as you can see, I've got these uh, puppy pads laid out here. Let's see if I can get, um, so uh, what's interesting is the puppy, the, the little puppy, Tequila, she'll come in here and if she has to poop, she'll either poop on the uh, puppy pads or she'll come here in the shower which is convenient because I have one of these uh, little shower sprayers here that I can pick it up, bleach it, and then just rinse it. 
But yeah, so uh, it's right next to her bed. So she'll come in here during the night and, and pee on these puppy pads, which is really convenient. Um, because I, I just, you know, pick them up and then throw them away and replace with a new one. So, so because she's really too young to, um, she's really, you know, a little bit too young to, to be, uh, having her go outside on her own. Akila! She's just chewing on a chew, chew toy there. Um, because if you, so I'll just show you for orientation here. There's the living room and then uh, my bedroom there. There's Tux. So the, the doggy door is all the way back here, right there. So, hey Tux. So she'd have to go on her own, you know, or me take her out there during the night. So, hey Papa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve that for when she's a little bit older, when when she's used to and she's big enough and tall enough to go out that doggy door. So transitioning uh, potty training from the the uh, puppy pads to them going outside, it's it's a lot easier than just starting from scratch. But but whenever um, I'm home and during the day when she's up, I have this back door open. Hi, hey, Papa. Hi, Papa. See you. What you got, Papa? And so, oh, he smells these these chew toys here. Yeah, look how tall he is. He can actually reach up there. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but yeah, so during the day, um, see, like Lucia, she's going out on her own. She's going pee. And I'll take that little pit bull puppy, Tequila. I'll take her out here to pee during the day and, and whenever I'm home. Okay, Papa. I've got their chicken boiling. But I want to do a, a few, aside from the potty training and showing you what I'm doing with that, I want to do a few, uh, like, basic obedience. Just stir this chicken. This is their shredded chicken I got going. Um, I'll add that to their kibble. Papa. You want to see Okay, Papa. And I'll show you with Lucia what I've been doing. Uh, Lucia! Lucia! Come, come! Good girl. See, there's a recall. She knows her name. Very good. Come, 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 Lucia. Ready? Come here, baby. Come, come, come. So what I do, I lure her with the uh, treat. Sit. Good sit. Now I'm going to try and make her uh, lay down. <laughs> Lucia down, and what I do is sit. Good girl. Lucia down, down, lay down, down, good down. And then I give her the treat when she completes the down command. So, pretty good, huh? She's already got that mastered. She's got sit mastered and she's got down mastered. Very good. Good girl. So, really happy with that. Now, I will say... Y'all didn't see, y'all didn't see the, uh, the, the, uh, frustrating part of that. She didn't get that right away, of course. It took several iterations. So, there's the little baby. I'm gonna give her one. Tequila! Now, Tequila knows her name, too. Tequila! Tequila! Um, I haven't worked on the on the sit command yet with uh, Tequila. She's a little bit too young. She's just barely going to be seven weeks old. I'm going to wait. Let's see how old was Lucia when I first started. She was about nine weeks, I want to say, uh, when I first started to train her basic obedience to sit and to lay down. Um... Texas look at me like, you know dang well why I'm looking at you, woman. <laughs> He's like, where's mine? You know darn well. Tex. 
Come here, Tuxy. Tux is very reserved. You know, he was a uh, rescue. He was in the Humane Society for a while. So he's uh, street smart. But anyways, um, yeah, so I didn't start with her right away. And so I'll wait a little bit. But yeah, the good thing is they, they both do know their name. They learn their name pretty early on. And they both do have recall, although they have not mastered it because Lucia here, she comes most of the time. I want to say like 80% of the time I call her, she'll come. Um, but when she's focused on something else, you know, that she doesn't want to come to me, she won't come. So I really need to c consistently work on her with that. Um, ah, see. Yeah, so anyways, uh, all about, I want to say, 90% of the training, what I'm finding is uh, it's all about repetition. So, it, so um, yeah, t teaching, uh, teaching Lucia here to, to lay down was very, very rough. It, it, just, it, it just was, I was getting frustrated. But I learned you just have to have patience and keep um, keep uh, reiterating what you want them to do. And so what I would do is, like, she got to sit, but then if I wanted her to lay down, like I said, you you kind of just you kind of just lure your hand with the food. Say so you got the food in the, and she's in a sit command, and you just kind of lure your hand down to the ground, and she'll follow it with her nose. But see what she was doing for me. She would follow my hand, but then she would never sit. She would never lay down all the way. She would just kind of like want to eat it without having laying down. So, uh, so what I would have to do sometimes is I would just take my hand and gently like pull her front legs from out of her after she was already basically laying down. I would just kind of help her complete it, <clears throat> and then I would immediately give her the praise and give her the treat. As soon as she was in a full uh, down position. And it took several, I want to say like a hundred iterations of that. And um, and I'll do it again here for y'all whenever their chicken's ready. And I got their, their meal prepared, prepared and uh, ready to give to them. And it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. So finally, I want to say like a couple weeks ago, she finally, um, it clicked. And you could see her little, uh, her eyes going and, and, you know, like she's, she's thinking about it. She really wants to understand what I want her to do. Like I say, uh, kind of Corso are, are relatively easy to train because, look at her, she's sniffing. Because they, they like to please, um, um, the caveat to that is that they're also very uh very intelligent and headstrong most of the time so they can be stubborn so they're not you know that can pose a challenge in the training but their desire to please sometimes will over override that and then sometimes it's skewed the other way where <laughs> their stubbornness overrides their desire to please so um with Lucia, I think I got a good a good balance there. She's she's actually very very um, I would say relatively easy to train. Um, so yes, I think the man y'all look how much she's grown. <laughs> Lucia, look how much she's grown. She is almost. As tall as Dolce here. Dolce is my black female, kind of corso. Ah, see, he wants that last treat. Y'all, I am hurting this morning. That's why I got my coffee right now. I mean, it's like after seven and I'm drinking coffee because, ah, see, papacito. Look, he can actually reach this. Because, um, oh man, it's like a circus in the mornings, getting ready for work. It is like a circus getting ready for work in the morning. So you got one puppy going the other way, 90 miles an hour. You got another puppy going the other way. 
It's like herding cats, but but uh, but worse. <laughs> um, well, look at uh, Lucia and Dolce. How they're playing so nicely. I'm sorry, uh, te <laughs> tequila and Dolce. Oh Lord, ah, see, and how stoic, how stoic Ozzy is. Ozzy has excellent manners. You notice he he won't uh, even though he can reach this. He won't. He won't dare. He could actually just uh, pop himself up on there and, and get that. He won't dare. Good boy, Papa. And um, and he and he's not barking either. Very very good manners. Very good, Ozzy. So I'll reward that. Very good, Papa. And um, poor Tux. Tux, Tux wants at you. I'm gonna give Tux. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this other treat that I'm using that's been kind of like a lifesaver is um, for the puppy. They're these little, uh, here, Tex, strips of pig's ear, pig's ear. And I'm just getting them in bulk. So hmm. in the morning, oh, that saves me so much time. Baby girl. Anyway, uh, I know all kinds of tangents that I've been going off on this video, but uh, I just wanted to show y'all um, just kind of how, how I'm doing the training. So we're in the, ver the very, very early stages of obedience training. Tequila. And so, so, um, It'll get better uh, just with repetition. It, it, it gets much, much easier after, you know, after you get several uh, repetitions under your belt with the dog. Luchi and Dolce. Dolce wants to play. Dolce. So, so yeah, the mornings are rough because um, it's like juggling. It's, it's like doing a juggling act. Oh my God! So yeah, mornings it's just chaos. I'm trying to, um, I gotta get my shower in. I've got to do everything with um, managing two puppies. The big dogs are relatively, you know, it's it's not work with the big dogs, of course, because they've got their own routine. Although I will say, Ozzy has been getting um, a little bit needy after. You know, for for the month of December, I got to stay home for because uh, I, I took a lot of um, leave or vacation time um, so that I could be home with the puppies and, and do some training. And so Ozzy's gotten used to me being able to stay home with him in the morning and play. Luchi! Oh, she smells this chicken. Watch. Front and center. It's her routine. She's front and center. So it's a little sad because... I don't have the time to, to play with Ozzy in the mornings when I'm getting ready and I'm on a time deadline. So, um, so yeah, so even though the big dogs are pretty easy in the morning, they, they, the Ozzy will whine. He'll just sit there and whine and, and throw his chew toy at me like with his mouth and like, come on and throw this for me. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel bad. But he does have the other dogs, to, like Dolce, to play with. So I'm just taking this chicken, and I'm just going to soak it in cold water. Look at those eyes. And then when it's cool, I'm going to shred it. And, uh, and I'll show you how I, I'll make her lay down again um, when it's cool. So. Okay, y'all. So, um. Here is the boiled chicken, which I've shredded. I've got Lucia front and center, <laughs> like she always does. Lucia! So this uh, chicken is super uh, effective because she wants it so bad. She smells it. Come on, Lucia. So what I'll do, I'll lure her. Lucia, sit. Good girl. I'll say Lucia down. Lucia down. Down. Good girl. Good down. 
C. Yeah, so I, I uh, gave it to her on the down command. Good girl, baby girl. Good girl. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, so several, several iterations of that. I want to take it, I want to say it took like a, maybe a couple weeks worth of iterations of just constantly doing that. Repetition, repetition is your best friend. And patience. Patience, patience is Lucia. Sit good girl, Lucia. Lucia, down. Lucia, down. Good girl, good down. Uh uh, Lucia, down. Lucia, down. Lucia, down. See, I haven't had it. She hasn't gone down yet, like on her own without me putting my hand to lure her. I thought she was just about to do it though. Lucia, down. Down, good girl. I repeat the command down, good girl. So I'll keep doing it, but as you can see, she almost did it without me uh, luring her. So I think that's going to be the next step. I'm going to work on her doing down without me having to put my hand there. And then the stage after that is going to be um, without food. Her doing it without food. She already sits without the food. Like I said, sit command was so easy. Of course, she's a very, very, intelli very intelligent um, a dog, like, like most Corso. So, so they're, in that sense, relatively easy. All right, well, I'm going to get these uh, dogs fed. And I uh, hope you all uh, enjoyed and stay tuned for more training videos. Hey, Papa. Uh, I think one of the next ones I want to do for y'all is uh, the leash training. Leash training, Lucia. Good girl. Very good, baby. So uh, I'll do that one hopefully this weekend because I'm going to really start working on her. And then uh, socialization. Um, she goes to get her final parvo uh, vaccine. Uh, this weekend, and so I will begin um, socializing her very, very soon after that. So stay tuned. I hope you all having a good day, a good night, and we'll talk at you all on the next one. Say bye, baby girl. <laughs> Say, I'm hungry. You quit your nap, but I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye, y'all.